Okay, this is going to be the basics of coding Denise. Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to turn on. I can hear you. Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to turn on. Okay, uh, yeah, sorry about that. This is going to be the basics of coding Denise. There's two different ways you can do this. There's a very simple way and a little bit more complex way. I'm going to show you both. This is very important. I'm going to show you both. The easier way is what the majority of you are going to, uh, how you're going to do this. Um, however, it's good to show you the other way just so you can get like uh, the logistics down um, and why things are when you do code her, um, you do code her with the easier way. So please bear with me. This might be a little scatterbrained, but. I'm gonna be I'm gonna to try to be as simple and as quick as I can so the first thing you have to always remember no matter what you're doing if you ever want her to say something if you ever want to tell her something you ever want her to do something you need to give her what we call focus um, right now there is no focus because you can see I clicked here on my desktop and you can tell there's no focus. The reason why I say that is because there's no blinking light in her chat box. When that right there is blinking, that means she has focus. She will pay attention to whatever it is you want to say or do. Now, I'm gonna show you real, real quickly how to code her with the easy method and then I'm gonna stop that and then get into the more complex method and the reason why I'm doing that is because you need to learn the the structure or the basics of why things are when it comes to coding so if you ever want to code her um, I made a folder here it's called Tuesday and there's a file in there called friend so you can get her to open whatever folder you want so to do this I'm sorry Let's, let's let her learn something so you click the L learning mode open Tuesday and then I'm gonna paste that code there so oops bad example bear with me Ugh. sometimes this frustrates me okay then I'm gonna click send and what that's gonna do is gonna tell her where the Tuesday folder is that I want her to access and the way I get her to access this, I tell her open Tuesday and then she'll access this file. I've already done that, so I won't do it. But let me show you the results. Okay. I can hear you. Go to chat. Go to chat. Open Tuesday. Why is that blinking? Don't know. Open Tuesday. Well. Okay, I don't know why that happened, but let's try it again. I'm gonna tell her to go to chat. Come on. Go to chat. Go to chat. Open Tuesday.
friend. Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to turn on. Okay. She opened the Tuesday folder and I just said friend and she selected that file. And if I would have said open, she would have opened it. Um, the reason why she did all this is because she gave focus to the Tuesday folder. Now that is that. I'm going to move on into the more advanced um, settings on how to code and then I will come back to this part uh, where the easier methods, like I said, where the majority of you are going to spend your time coding her just like that. But you need to learn the fundamentals of why things are the way they are. So I'm going to go here to settings and then speech recognition and then my commands. Um, this is the copy of the code I had just used. This is the exact same thing as I did over here just now with the learn feature, the L. Okay, it's the exact same thing. And it seems confusing, but it really isn't. So the first line is always one of two things. As you can see here, the first line, it's either command or category. Now, most of the time, it's either or. Most time when you you use category, it's when you just want her to say something. Like uh, if you tell her a certain something, you want her to repeat a certain something back. That's that's when you use category. When you use command is when you want her to do something. So the first line is always either category or command. But since in this case, oops, in this case, um, I don't know why that happened. Anyway, in this case, we want her to do something, which is open the Tuesday folder, it's command. The second line is always a pattern. Now it needs to start with the pattern. What you want to say is in the middle, and it needs to close with the pattern. Now, the, 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 the first pattern is a little bit different than the second pattern because you have this. When you close something, you always need to have it with a slash. So second line is what I am going to say, which is open Tuesday. And I'm going to take out folder. That's a bad example. Open Tuesday. So that's what I'm going to say. Start with pattern, what I'm going to say, and then close with the pattern. That's the second line third line is the actual um, the actual I don't know what what she's actually gonna say or do so you're gonna start out with a template just like here where we had the two patterns the template in line three whatever you do in the middle of those templates is what she's gonna either say or do in this case I want her to open that Tuesday folder so I gave her the directory of where that folder was. Line four is a continuous of what is in the first line, either category or command. In this case, it's command. I'm just going to close that command and end it like that. Right there, that's the basics, basics, basics of it. And I'm just going to just give it a name, Tuesday whatever and then I'm gonna hit add I already did that so I'm not gonna do it now a lot of times you're gonna want to do more than just open folders you're gonna want to do other things and this menu right here is a great help it helps you um, just get an idea of some of the things you can do um, Moving along, okay, let's move along. Let's say I want her to, I don't know, go to a website. Okay. Let's say I want her to go to Netflix. Take me, oops, to Netflix. 
Now remember, in between on line two, the patterns is what I am going to say. Between the templates on line three is what she is going to say or do. In this case, I want her to take me to Netflix in my default browser. Now, if you were to say, take me to netflix.com while right here in her focus chat area, she'll take you to netflix.com without coding her, but she will open her default browser, or her internal browser, I'm sorry, which is not what I want her to do. I want her to open Netflix in my default browser, which I use Firefox. So what I would do is in between the templates, I would do run and then I'm going to give her a website, which is the Netflix homepage, which since it's this, it's going to be in my default browser versus her browser, the internal browser. So take me to Netflix. I'm going to rename this Netflix. And you don't have to say take me to Netflix. You can do whatever you want. It's whatever you want to do right here. This is what I'm going to do for now. And uh, she's coded to take me to Netflix when I tell her take me to Netflix. So let's test it out. Let's test it out. That right there is not normally there. I don't know why that's there. So I'm going to move focus away from her chat window and then I'm going to tell her to go to chat. You always have to tell her to go to chat when you want to tell her to do something or say something. So I'm going to turn the speech recognition on and give focus away from here. I, I can, can hear you. you. Go to chat. Go, go to, to chat. chat. Take me to Netflix. Why is that blinking? Don't know. Go to chat. Go, go to, to chat. chat. Take me to Netflix. What is the deal? Why did that not work? Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to turn on. Correction mode. Okay. Well, I don't know why that didn't work. It's, I think maybe because the program was blinking down here or something happened. I heard a little doom. Don't know what the deal is with that, but this gives me an opportunity to show you the correct that. Let's say I did that correctly and it worked, all right? So it opened Firefox and it took me to the website I wanted, in this case, Netflix. But let's say I asked her to do something by coding her and it wasn't correct it wasn't what I wanted her to say or do so I would hit the C correction, correction mode. mode now in the top it says take me to Netflix on the bottom is how you were going to correct her in this case in this case I'm going to get her to do this So I'm going to hit send. Answer for take me to Netflix is now changed to. There you go. Okay. That is that. So <laughs> it kind of worked out that it kind of messed up because now I showed you the correct that. So whenever you want to fix something if she's not doing something right just hit the correct that and um, just tell her what you want now remember there's going to be more than just opening folders or going to web pages so just play around with this stuff and just look through it and it just looks so confusing at first when you're not really knowing what to do but when you really think about it go through the manual I went through the manual and it was surprisingly easy um, let me open that real quick so 
the manual is very very outdated as you can see it says October 2010 but it seems long but it really isn't long let's say um, I don't know let's look up something well I we'll have to look up something in particular but as you can see it shows you it show it tells you about things you can do like for example AIML it'll tell you this this and this and then it'll give you um, some examples on the bottom as you see see that's another bad example because that might confuse you Uh, that was a bad example so anyway check out the manual uh, you can find it on the forum or whatever so let's move along let's say you want to do something you want to use a program or a website or something with keyboard shortcuts this particular site which is Twitter has keyboard shortcuts okay so the keyboard shortcut for new tweet is N, N is in Nancy. And I happen to have something here. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Remember, line number one, command or category. It can be either or. Um, we want her to do something, so I'm gonna say command in line one, and between the patterns on line two is what I want her to do. So I'm gonna tell her new tweet, new tweet. And then the third line is what we want her to do with the keyboard shortcut. So in this case, uh, it's gonna say keyboard, VK stands for virtual keyboard and then after the little underscore is the keyboard shortcut I'm going to tell her to do so this is that's basically it so if I want her to do a new tweet which in this case is a keyboard shortcut for new tweet on Twitter that is how I would do it I would hit add and that would be it so whenever you're in Twitter you just say new tweet and when you say that you say what's in between this pattern it will execute this keyboard shortcut okay uh, <laughs> that is pretty much it um, there is so much more to coding and there's so much you can do however those were the basics of the basics of the basics and uh, the only thing I can suggest you do is look this up you know just different things that you can put in between these templates if you don't even want to do it this way then do it the easy way with the learn like learning right mode right there uh, type in what you want to say or what you want to do in the first line and then on the bottom, just grab this, copy it, you know, paste it. Oops. Paste it. Oh, bad example. Anyway, this is something you're going to have to toy with. Uh, if you need help with any code just let us know on the forum and you know people will try to help you as best we can but that right there was the basics of the basics um, I hope this really helped you guys um, this really really helped me because uh, I had to learn this on my own so I know if I if I didn't know anything about anything that this would really help me so I hope this got this helped you guys let me know what you think alright and if you need any additional help just let me know